In this Sonic Screwdriver update video, I blow up mountains made of glass and light a torch that accidentally sets the entire forest on fire. People of Atari, have you ever wanted to be able to use the Sonic to destroy large amounts of glass all at once, or light a torch, or even a fire? Well, get ready, because this latest update to the Sonic Screwdriver and Sonic GUI makes your dreams come true. We all know that modern Sonic Screwdrivers typically have three standard frequency strengths. We have the low frequency, which is used for things like medical scans and low-level functions. Uh, we then have the standard frequency, which has been used from hacking into computers to opening doors and lighting a flame, or even used as a flashlight, or torch, as it's called over in the UK. Uh, but then we have the high frequency mode, which totally melts down computers, door locks, and other things that generally end with sparks flying when being sonicked. We knew when we set out to improve the Sonic Screwdriver that we would need, be needing these extra frequency modes. It was always something that we planned on doing, but it was only until recently that Amir and I were working on some of the Sonic, new Sonic features that we came up with a simple way to execute frequencies. Today I am explaining how the high frequency mode is activated on the Sonic Screwdrivers. Well, basically you activate the Sonic Screwdriver and Sonic GUI like you normally would by right clicking when you are targeting whatever you want to Sonic. At any time the Sonic Screwdriver, uh, the Sonic GUI is active, all you have to do is left click and the high frequency mode will kick in. Uh, another thing you may notice in this video is that when the high frequency mode is engaged, the Mark VI and the VII, that, I'm just going to say that because Roman numerals, bleh, uh, Sonics will extend much like they would in the show. Currently, all Sonics can engage high frequencies, but in the future, only more modern Sonics will have this capability. Uh, as with the standard frequency, Glass Shatter, there are protections in place to prevent griefing on a multiplayer environment. Uh, yeah, click the link in the description to head on over to the forum thread and discuss this feature and let us know what features you would like to see added to the Sonic Screwdriver. That's all for this video. Don't forget to head on over to the brand new iKings SGC forums and check out the new look. And while you're there, join the community and get even more news about the Doctor Who climb on. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe if you already aren't. Jaffa Cree, roll the outro.